Hi everybody, it's me, Sissy. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cute farmhouse menu board. And this is double-sided. I have a little uh, kitchen quote on the back of it. Isn't that sweet? Kitchens are made to bring families together. But anyway, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I For made this, this DIY, board. We're going to use one of these 4x6 special moments um, special moments memories collection frames one of the uh, chalkboards the double-sided chalkboards some of the nautical rope um, some burlap twine I have um, some decals that I made using my Cricut um, if you don't have a Cricut you can use a white paint pen to write your um, message on your chalkboard or you can use chalk that way you can change it but um, I enjoy my Cricut so I've used it and um, a glue gun and then I have some burlap flowers I got these from um, Dollar Tree um, just the little burlap ones I think they came on um, stems these were in my stash I had left over from something else so I'm going to use some of those and then I have some burlap roses that I made that I, I might use on here but anyway to get started first thing we need to do is take our frame apart so if you'll look right here you'll see um, I've already kind of loosened it a little bit but this is a two-piece frame and we're gonna just take a knife and put it in the crack the crevice there and just give it a little twist and it comes right apart um, you don't have to take it completely apart we just want to be able to get this little acetate piece out and put our chalkboard in and if you'll just put it right down in here, it is a perfect fit. Just line it up because you want to be able to put your pegs back together in there. So and it'll just go right in. Okay. Now you see that it does leave a gap, um, you know, to accommodate the frame. And that's where our nautical rope is going to come in. So we're going to start down here on the bottom on both sides by the base and we're just going to glue that nautical rope into the crevice. So when you get your rope, they already have the ends that has um, a piece of tape on it. You can leave that there if you want to, um, or you can pull it off, but if you pull it off, be sure and put a little drop of glue on the end, because you don't want this um, rope to unravel. And I find that if you take, where's my butter, if you take something cold and metal like a butter knife, you can just put it right on that hot glue, and it will make it seal right up so we're just I'm just going to take it and glue it oh I'm getting ahead of myself first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this little narrow twine and we're going to wrap it around the base just a few times <clears throat> so when we glue the uh, nautical rope it won't be so stark where it starts and finishes so I just put a drop of glue we're going to put the twine and we're just going to wrap it around. Let me move my camera angle so y'all can see what I'm doing. Somebody um, made a comment on my last video that they couldn't see what I was doing. So, it's, I'm not a camera person, so I don't... Okay, how's that? Okay, you can see here at the base, I'm just taking it and wrapping it around. And you can do it as many times as you want. I'm just going to try to yeah, cover the whole thing. And then I'm just going to put a drop of glue right here on the side where it's not so visible. So I'm just going to put a little drop of glue right there. And just bring my twine across it. Make sure it's glued down and then I'm going to snip it off. So that way you can't see where it started and where it stopped. Then I'm going to take my nautical rope and then I'm going to go right up in here and kind of join it. I'm going to um, cut that tape off. I don't like how that looks. So, okay. And then 
I'm going to hold my rope together. Don't let it unravel. And I'm going to put a drop of glue. Then I'm going to take my nice cold butter knife and my glob of glue, technical term. I'm just going to press it on there. And look, it almost instantly hardens and gives you a nice smooth finish. So now I'm just going to take my frame. I'm going to put a drop of glue right here. Stick my rope to it. And then I'm just going to glue that rope into the crack all the way around the frame. Okay, so when you get it all glued, just kind of go back and see if you have anywhere that you have some excess glue that you want to take off. And you can take an X-Acto knife or a sharp pair of scissors and just kind of whittle that dry glue and it'll peel right off. So there we go. So now for my um, little sayings on the menu board, I made a little decal that said today's menu. And I found it on um, a SVG site called Creative Fabrica, which they have a lot of great stuff on there. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything. So, but um, I like this. It just said menu, and I added the today on there in um, Cricut Design Studio. And I'm just going to put that right there on top of my menu board. And like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, you can just write this right on here with a light paint pen or you can put it on here with um, chalk, you know, or you can make a stencil and, and paint it on here or get the peel and stick letters. Well, you know, that's up to you, whatever you want to do. But um, I'm loving my Cricut. I tell y'all I've monogrammed everything in my house. But anyway, that's how that looks. Now, on the other side... I found this cute little um, quote about kitchens. Oh, I got a glob of glue. I need to get that glue off of there. So if you have an X-Acto knife, I just run the X-Acto knife under the glue and you, it'll pop right off. But um, I found this cute little kitchen quote, um, and it says, kitchens are made to bring families together. So I thought I would put that on the opposite side of my menu board. And I found that also at um, Creative Fabrica, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, you can... Um, you know, get a ruler out and measure it. Or you can put anything you want on here. A Bible verse or y'all come eat or, you know, whatever. Whatever saying y'all have. Um, I was going to put on here kitchen closed or something about being a self-cleaning kitchen. But I'm kind of... <laughs> my, my son tries to help me in the kitchen, but... He says that it's no point in the dishes being washed twice because he'll wash them and I'll come behind him and, you know, the, it's never quite up to your standards or he didn't wash it the way I wash it or, you know, 
or maybe it's just me and I'm anal. I don't know. But uh, we <laughs> we do fight a lot about kitchen the kitchen I like things to be in a certain spot and I don't understand why you can't put it back where it was because I think it's in the you know the most logical perfect spot for it to be but uh, I guess that's just a mama thing And that's the little quote that I put on there. So that way I have my double-sided uh, mirror, and then we're gonna I'm gonna hang a piece of chalk. So I have my chalk, and I have the um, thin twine from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to tie it around here. Put a little bow. I mean, you don't have to tie the piece of chalk. You can just um, lay it on the bottom. I thought about trying to make a little chalk holder on the bottom or to glue this on something else and put the chalk on it, but uh, it's a lot of work. And I thought this would be just fine. Anyway, I just tied a little bow, and I'm going to clip it off. And you could put a, a dot of glue on there just to hold it. Have my little um, burlap flowers. Okay, yeah. And um, this is just how the burlap flowers looked off the stem, and I took those and then I put some of them together and gave them a little coat of paint. Um, just to make them a different color and I'm just going to do a little grouping of three here in the corner and hang the chalk down from it so y'all I'm trying to get better about putting stuff in frames so y'all can see what I'm doing but I don't know all this camera stuff but I'm gonna um, put the three right here in this corner and glue my chalk down let's see I'm gonna glue my chalk first I'm just going to put a little bead of glue right there. Glue my chalk down. There. Then I'm going to put this colored flower that I put a little coat of paint on right there. And if you clip the little stems off the back, these will lay flat, and um, I think they'll look a little better. And I'm just going to do a little corner decoration right here. And you can leave these off, you know, if you don't like them, or if, if you have different kind of de decor in your, in your kitchen. Um, I was going to put a red plaid bow here our gingham check but um, I'm trying to do my kitchen in kind of farmhouse country but I think I'm getting too many different kinds of bread check in here so I'm trying to restrain myself a little bit so there we have it there's just my camera just a little bit so you can see it. There we have it. There's my um, little chalkboard menu board. You can write on here today's menu. And then when you're not displaying your menu, you can turn it around to the other side and it has this cute little quote. Now I may go back and put some flowers on this side or I may just leave it plain. I'm That's not sure. That's it, guys. Um, that was so quick and easy, and I think it turned out really cute. Um, I've got to practice my handwriting so that I can actually write on here because uh, 
my handwriting's not the best in the world, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below how you liked it, what you didn't like, what you did like. Um, do you want to see some more Cricut stuff? I'd had one or two people said, yeah, they would like to see the Cricut, but um, if you want to see how I actually made the decals or how some other decals, um, just let me know. I'm thinking about opening an Etsy shop and um, maybe selling some decals and things. I don't know. I did, I kind of want to do something, but I don't know what it is yet. But anyway, remember, if Sissy can do it, y'all can do it too. So get out there and make something. Y'all have a great day. Bye.